Hey guys, Mars Ningen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and today we are going to try and answer a question that was posed in the World Tournament stream that I did yesterday as to whether or not the free to play in Raditz is actually viable for the times 30 difficulty. So you can see my team here, I've taken my standard Rosé Villains team and I have replaced uh, the in unit with Raditz. And then I've replaced LR Broly with the Great Ape Raditz to be a link partner for him. And I have replaced LR Margin Vegeta with a Super 17 just to fill a spot as another tank. But he has some better links with the rest of the team than uh, AGL Golden Freezer. So I went with him instead. And then I have, we don't need, we won't struggle for key because Raditz's passive gives him key against multiple opponents. So I didn't need to bring the tree of might through or an orb changing item so we've brought some attack boosting items instead so we're gonna see how he fares against the times 30 difficulty uh, obviously bearing in mind that the stages do get harder the further you go through so uh, let us we don't want to move too far away from the bonus points so we'll let them start coming to us now that we have a lower team cost, we'll see what kind of uh, teams we come up against. Um, let's see. Start venturing outwards, I guess. Okay. Didn't check the colour wheel at the bottom, so... Okay, good. So we've got Raditz first rotation, and this seems to be a largely mono-tech team, so that's nice. Um... Okay, let's not use an item, an attack boosting item, because this is just the preliminaries, so let's see. And we'll get Goku Black to target Xeno Trunks, since he's the physical unit. He will, I would imagine, survive. Not sure about everyone else, but let's find out, shall we? So, my Raditz is at about 30% in the dupe system. I haven't really put a lot of orbs into him. I got his star abilities in the top left, so he can at least do crits and additionals. Um, he's, oh, he seems to actually be killing some, if not all of them. Okay, so that will, I assume, be Xenotronk still alive. Yep. Uh, he didn't have a huge amount of health left, though, and he was the last one. So, I'm actually kind of impressed by that. Um, even though it is the preliminaries and the enemies are slightly weaker in the first round. That's... Uh, I didn't expect him to almost completely take out the physical unit as well. That's uh, that's very good. Obviously now we don't have anyone of much use on the rotation. Well, I say that of course. STR Rosé is an amazing unit. I just mean in the sense of getting this done quickly. So let's just pop one of these. Since I can't imagine anyone's going to deal too much damage to us. And then we'll have Raditz back next turn, so let's get rid of Gogeta from the next rotation. And of course, double Rosé, giving everybody a load of extra defense as well. I didn't even think of that, so probably didn't need to use the Yammer, but better safe than sorry. Testing out this uh, Int Raditz, my uh, winning streak of about 20-something is, uh, is on the line, so... But definitely impressed with that first uh, showing. I wasn't even sure if even in the preliminaries he could actually take out multiple members of the team. So, uh, so we don't want to use another item. So we're gonna let um, we're gonna let Super Seventeen tank that first attack, and then Raditz doesn't need any key. So he's definitely a good option in that sense because he's never going to need key. Uh, both parts of his passive activating give him an 80% attack boost, which is obviously very good. 50% uh, is just straight up he gets that all the time. And then he gets 30% attack and defense when he's fighting multiple opponents. So that's pretty much always going to be in unless he was in your third slot and, uh, well, he was on your third turn and only comes into play when almost everybody is dead. But... So other than that, he's pretty much guaranteed to super, which is nice. And uh, he's putting in work so far. I'm interested to see, though, once we get through to the uh, next couple of rounds, because the enemies do get tougher overall. So, And here we are with 
a much more difficult rotation. Uh, Raditz on Raditz Violence. Um, we shouldn't need a... Actually, we should probably just target... No, they'll take him out. That's fine. Actually, yeah, let's use an attack up thing. Make sure we get rid of... Uh, these guys at the end. And then the attack boost will last through into next turn. So we can uh, get a nice little extra damaging attack with the in Raditz. Oh wow, okay. I totally underestimated King Piccolo there, getting a crit. Didn't quite take him out though, but Rosé should easily finish him off now. Oh well. Especially if he's going to crit for almost 1.8 mil. And then the Ape Raditz does take out the Int Raditz. Perfect. And then no one to attack us first, which is great. And so free to attack away. So there's no physical units, and that Bulma that we activated last turn is still in effect. So I imagine he will take everybody out here. So it's not huge numbers, but you can see even on times 30, the uh, preliminary teams don't have huge amounts of health. I mean, you're used to seeing if you go up against times 30 with a team with tons of LRs, by the time you're getting to the last couple of rounds... Um, AGL units are surviving LR Broly's first super attack and that even though it does over like 400,000 damage sometimes and here you can see this uh, Raditz is hitting for only around 300,000 or less and still taking them out so so let us continue on At the time of up of recording this, I haven't been awake super long, so you can see from that end screen my uh, rank has dropped down quite a bit. So, fortunately, I've got plenty of time this evening to keep on grinding and get back up. I want to try and finish in at least the top five thousand just for the extra um, Elder Kai part of the reward. I'm not too fussed about the trunks. If you haven't seen the uh, video I put out talking about him and the various other super trunks, uh, definitely check that out. I'll put that as a link at the end of this video anyway, on the suggested ones that come up on the screen. So we're going to jump straight into the second fight now. I've got a Gogeta leader with a sort of rainbow tier. It's most, I see it's mostly a heroes team, but they've included the Raditz. So, right, let's ghost because I have no idea second round if we can take these guys out. We don't want to take hits from Gogeta and uh, that Rage Vegeta. So let's use the Bulma item and let's see if we can still if we're still at a point of being able to one shot our opponents. I'm definitely uh, pleasantly surprised from the results of the preliminary. I hadn't even thought about using him on my team because of the uh, because of how difficult the times 30 can be sometimes. And we did uh, we did try out a couple of different events with the low class warriors team when Raditz came out, and I did a showcase of him on the extreme in under a 120 leader, and he didn't really seem that impressive. So I wasn't expecting a huge amount from him, but as you can see, he took out everybody except for the physical unit. So. And that was in the quarterfinal, so that's still pretty impressive. Uh, anybody out there who actually rainbowed their Raditz, I imagine, is uh, is going to be laughing because he's going to be doing a lot more damage. Um, you obviously have the potential for crits more, depending on how you balanced his abilities. So yeah, if you've rainbowed this Raditz, I imagine he performs incredibly well, even under the uh, times thirty. So. Let's try and get through this now a bit quicker. Uh, let's take a Rainbow Star AGL uh, Rose, why not? The leader skill, as you probably know, doesn't activate in the World Tournament anyway, so we're only bringing Rose's for their three key passive. Not that we particularly need uh, the key with Raditz, but. I'm gonna fall short. And he's gonna run away. It's not what we want. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, there you go. The AI for some of these rounds confuses me. But there you go. Uh, so they won't link together, but that's okay. I don't suppose. Yeah, they well, they're both the rosés basically have all the same links, so it's not really gonna. That's not gonna make any difference, is it? And then some rosé on rosé violence. Uh, let's see. Without the attack up item, what we managed to do, because the. Uh, we know from the last round that using the attack up item, we pretty much one shot everyone. So I'm going to not use it this time. Oh, we crit against the physical unit. That's good. So yeah, definitely survivors this time. Uh, the Broly. I'm assuming he's the uh, he's been easy aid, so a few bit higher stats and the strength for Rose. So. Now that we're into the semi-final, it seems like the attack up item is definitely useful. Yeah, Golden Freezer survived as well. So target you and you, and no super for Super 17, sadly. I finally pulled my first dupe for Super 17. I got up to 50 stones from the World Tournament Awards. Did a summon on the Rose banner. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 animation and got my first dupe for Super 17. It was the only SSR in the multi summon, but I'm very happy with that. So, And there you go, he gets his crit. So, takes him out. So, Reddit's almost one shotting the whole team uh, without the use of the attack up item. So we will definitely use one of those for the final, and maybe we'll activate. We'll activate both and see if we can actually one-shot the whole team. So let's just grab a nice rosé from down here and jump straight on in. So we've got a, that's a weird looking team. <laughs> Janemba leader with LR Broly and then loads of other non extreme strength units. So, Although the guy's name is apparently Watt, so that's very appropriate. That's what I think when I see that team. And we don't have Raditz on the first rotation, which is a little bit annoying. Okay. So we'll get Raditz after you. Rose can take out Janemba. And then we will target. Let's target the LR with King Piccolo just because I'm not quite sure whether they will take him out. Seems like a good time to ghost as well, since we know that the next turn we're not going to have uh, attacks up front. So that gives Raditz a chance to just go off. Yeah, that Raditz definitely needing help to take out the uh, take out LR Gohan there. Well, if we get his help low enough, then the uh, big attack from the Int Raditz should take him out. So. And then Rose with an additional normal, lowering the health of Omega, so he should be easy to get rid of as well. Okay, so Raditz is going to get his chance to shine. Let's activate, so 20% attack and defense, and extra 25% attack. So. There you go, 85k. Let's see what he can do. Can he take out their whole team, including an LR Broly that's on full health? So let's see. So, <laughs> uh, not taking out the LR Gohan, I guess, is kind of expected. Get a crit on the LR Broly as well, though, and a crit on Vegeta. So, is the LR Gohan the only one left?
He was. So Raditz one shot LR Broly, which is uh, pretty good. So yeah, if you've got a few orbs invested in him and uh, don't mind chucking out a couple of those Bulma items, I find I never really use mine, so I've got a couple of hundred of them. So it's definitely more value than using uh, orb changer items or um, ghost ushers for the harder stages, depending on your team. Uh, obviously he's not available at the moment, unfortunately, so hopefully you did farm him up when he was out, but I'm definitely interested to see what a rainbow version of him can do. So he is definitely a viable choice for the times 30 difficulty if you're running a 120 team. I'm not sure on a lower leader skill how good he would do, but I've got a challenge video coming up where I'm going to use the physical Kid Gohan LR and a team of AOE units, or like the weaker AOE units, we're not using any of the LRs. So I guess we'll see how that goes. So yeah, Raditz definitely a viable option. So that is going to be it for this video guys, this has been the Master Ningen. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you are new. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers here on the channel, so hashtag 1000 mortals plan all over the comments. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one!